Ali inspired me to take rap seriously because he used to know how to make them whole songs, man. We used to just go, like I said, we used to spit bars. Like when I'm going around, I didn't know how to make a whole song. Like if I'm gonna be in a rap battle, I ain't finna make a whole song, then a hook, then come with another verse on them. It was humans out there that did that. But Ali, when he grabbed the mic, he had a whole song. And he might say, and we might be saying, rapping over somebody else's beat or something like that, but he had a whole boom, 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 boom. So he kind of kind of did that. And then he got a pass that uh, kind of convinced us that he was a professional. He, he moved to Atlanta, he moved to Atlanta and his whole story about Atlanta and the things he had did to move back to St. Louis to, to pursue his rap career. All oh, that was fire, you know what I'm saying? I can't even repeat the story, you gotta ask him, but all that convinced me that we can do it on a professional level. You know, he had us thinking that, oh, you know, y'all can do it. Ali is uh, um, another father figure that came into our life. You know what I'm saying? Um, to everybody else, he's probably just big brother, but to me, he was more father figure. He's a, uh, he's the oldest in our group. You know what I'm saying? Like when we, when you hear it and you hear everybody freestyling and something like that, you be like, oh, that's tight. He, he got some skills, you know what I'm saying? But when I saw Ali do it, I heard a verse, I heard a hook, I heard a verse, I heard a, you know what I'm saying? Like it was all set up. Um, the knowledge of hip hop that he had, um, if you mention any music, he knew, he knew, he, you know what I'm saying? Like the, 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 the history of music, period. Um, he had that knowledge at the time, you know what I'm saying? And, and the stuff he used to hip us to, he made me read the back of uh, Nas's, uh, like his second or third album. He made me read the, the back of, the, of it and he had his words, all the words, his thing. Like I didn't know Nas was that tight. I didn't, you know, we was listening to Spice Ones and MJGA balls and things of that nature in the South, you know what I'm saying? And, in the Midwest, so he hit me to things of that nature. He hit me to Wu Tang. He hit me to knowledge of self. He hit me to, you know, what I'm saying things of that nature and, and thinking bigger than just uh, uh, what I was thinking was tight in, in my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he helped me. He helped me wake up. Yeah, I'm woke because of Ali. Ali took it to a, to a level where we, we we just cared about more than just uh, what bar I spit. You know what I'm saying? Like how we dressed how we carried ourselves, um, the whole look of a rapper, period. You know what I'm saying? So we 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 won all our talent talent shows. You know what I'm saying? We made sure we was different from everything happening. We was we had intros to our shows. It was just more to it. I showed my stop and break. We do some, we just cared more. You know what I'm saying? I think he, he brought the caring of where we need to take this. You know what I'm saying? He saw more into it. He started off as the manager and then eventually he been, ended up being in the group. You know, so. That's how it worked out. The St. Lunatics were different from other groups because we cared more about being different on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like, we refused to look like somebody else, be like somebody else, talk like somebody, rap like somebody else. Like, what the what? Biting? Like, that was like illegal back then. You know what I'm saying? So we refused to, we made sure that when we come in that if, if somebody else is gonna look like us, they did it after us. You know what I'm saying? We definitely was first with that one, no matter what it was. I don't care if it was a fashion move, a rap move, a cadence, or whatever it was, we was first. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what we kind of concentrated on, make sure that we trendset it in a different way, not just the uh, normal. Don't want to be normal. I was 16 out. Matter of fact, I wrote three 16s that you hear to this day. Now what goes up must come down, but we ain't coming down. It be the same old. One day, boy Jay Z gonna walk up like Murph, you be. I ain't even. You got some bars. St. Louis ain't hip hop. Dirty, we hop to what's hip.